Well, y'all are the first to see this. I haven't made one yet, uh, but this is going to be the biggest honking knife that I've made yet. Uh, my door cheat is a pretty big knife. As a matter of fact, let's just see how much, if they're similar in size, they are. But I'm going to make this out of quarter inch. It's going to be uh, one badass knife. And uh, I love the feel of it. That is perfect. I got big hands, and that's going to fit perfect. And I'm calling it, don't you dare laugh. This just came into my head, and I like the immediately. Uh, I'm calling it Texas Rumble. Texas Rumble. That's the name of this knife. And, you know, I draw a lot of knives out on paper when I'm sitting in my man cave. And, uh, you know, maybe one out of a hundred I don't crinkle up and throw away. And I thought to myself, you know, I always start at the handle and then make the blade. I'm going to do it backwards. I'm going to make a blade that I like the looks of and then draw the handle. And this was my first attempt. As a matter of fact, um, after right after this clip, I'll roll in the picture Uh I draw on graph paper and I use a ruler and uh, I'll roll that in after this clip because uh, I drew it out once. I didn't alter it. Well, I did. I added three eighths of an inch to the, to the length of the handle and uh, I showed this to several friends and they all liked it. I showed it to my wife and I told her the name and she didn't laugh. That's a good sign. So uh, this is it. Texas Rumble. I haven't made one yet. I can't wait to, I can't wait to make one. I'm really excited about this knife. Uh, I have one, two, I have three knives, four knives actually, that are sold and I'm working on. Uh, the dinner skinner, that's not this. Uh, the dinner skinner I have to make a sheath for and put an edge on. This is the Caddo, C-A-D-D-O, Caddo. <clears throat> and Caddo is a tribe of Indians that were local to this area, settled in this area. Here on the Texas side of the state line, uh, all the way over into uh, Caddo Parish, which is where that name comes from. Caddo Parish is where Shreveport is. Uh, Webster Parish, Bossier Parish, up even in Arkansas and Oklahoma, had a tribe of Indians called Caddo, and they were a bit migratory. They would travel north and south up the rivers and bayous, uh, hunting and stuff like that. And uh, that's where this name comes from. It's just uh, named after the Indians that were once in this area. Okay, so I got to heat treat this, temper it, clean it all back up with 400, take it up to 600, itch my logo, Acid bath it, uh, make a sheath, and uh, this one's done. The other one, uh, the dinner skitter, I gotta make a sheath for, and I have another Caddo that is sold. I gotta make that. I have another dinner skinner that's sold. I gotta make that, and then if I don't have any knives pending, I'm going to make one of these, and I'm really excited about this. I can't wait. Okay, uh, here in a couple hours, my wife and I are going to the doctor, and I was wrong. She is not getting a CAT scan. She's going to talk to the people about getting this multi, what do they call it? A multi-phase CAT scan, and uh, I just guess, I guess the medical world, they do not no matter what kind of pain you're in, no matter how your life is affected, they just don't get in a hurry. So we're going to talk to this lady who is uh, kind of tops in her field concerning, you know, kidneys and stuff. Uh, 
and they'll, they'll set her up an appointment. But I, I guess the, the talking to them and filling out paperwork is the thing we're going to be doing today. So I sure, I sure thought she was going to get her CAT scan today so we could get this ball rolling and get her fixed up and back to uh, enjoying life. All right, I'm going to heat treat that other knife while I'm staring at this. <laughs> And uh, I got a couple other clips I'll roll in just because I always like to include little short clips of things that I record during the day. So today is Tuesday. You'll probably see this Wednesday. Have a good one. Hello, baby. You got your hair cut. You look naked. You got your hair cut. <laughs> My good boy. Yes, you are. Barbecued pulled pork omelet. Oh yeah, you can't stop me. Don't even try. I gotta hurry. I hear sirens. It's probably the omelet police. Okay. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. This is worse than gel time right here. Well, it, it's going to be uh, 98 today with a heat index of 101 or 102. So what better thing to do than have a cup of coffee and sit on the front porch in the heat? I just love that sound. Let's get our coffee on, y'all. This is uh, t uh, the Google Street View of Texan Knives. He wants you to believe that he's making Damascus in this building, this little storefront right here is where he's making so much Damascus and knives made in America that he needs dealers to help him sell them <laughs> and believe it or not he has dealers several all over the country selling his uh pakistani knives mr masrur very good day to you and uh yeah he's making so many knives handcrafted right here in texas that he needs dealers to sell them even though he's selling them on Amazon and on his own website and he's making them all including the Damascus billets in this tiny little storefront here yeah I believe that you're not a liar are you this is his own picture on his own website look at this handcrafted knife it's full of rust. The stitching. Look at the stitching on this. There's a mile of room between each stitch. Terrible stitching. Terrible thread. No dye on the inside here. No dye on the inside here. If these aren't Pakistani made, I will kiss your ass. Oh, well, that's it. That's it. I'm over it. But, uh... Live and, live and learn, and I'm just spreading the word. Texan Knives is a, a lion SOB. None of this stuff is made in America, let alone Texas.
It's all it's all stuff that he imports from uh, Pakistan, and uh, <laughs> you know, go from there. Well, what he's char and the thing is, is he's charging American-made prices for his uh, billets of Damascus, and he's probably getting them for ten bucks a piece and charging one hundred and fifty, hundred and sixty. There we go. <laughs> Look at his Google reviews. You recognize that name there? Amazing knives at a good price. Love the fact that it's family owned and that they make their own stuff. Recognize that last name? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny right there. Let's see if he's got any more with his last name. Uh, <laughs> that is funny. After work, okay, here we go. After working for Texan Knives for almost a year, I am here to let you know, uh, let you in on a little secret. It's all a scam. N Aha! Nothing from Texan Knives is made or sourced in Texas, not even the U.S. The reason you wait, the reason your wait time for custom products is just to wait weeks, is because it's was there a bad. Pakistan, okay, Pakistan, like I thought. A dollar or less. See, that's exactly, that is just, how is he getting away with this? Huh. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm not going to let up on this guy. I'm going to shut up. I'm going to keep this, fo if you want to pause this right here, because, uh, Kayla Kid. Hmm. Go ahead and read that, and I'm gonna click on Kayla Kid and see what else she has reviewed. The Woodlands. See, the Woodlands is right near. See, this is a tech where Texan Knives is, and the Woodlands is down here somewhere. Here's where I used to work, right here. This is down there. Houston. Okay, this is eight that goes around Houston, and uh, this is the airport. And uh, hell, we're here. I'll show you right where I used to work. Okay, there's 1960 Kennewick Drive. Forward Air Solutions, right here. Twelve years I picked up here from air freight right here and uh jump down on interstate 10 and haul butt over to los angeles 12 years back and forth twice a week me and my wife okay so like i said i'm i'm not gonna let up on this guy every time i get a chance to let people know what a liar this guy is now i have no uh no fear of a lawsuit so uh, there'll be a lot of uh me mentioning Texan knives and what a liar he is, because uh, <laughs> I was 100% positive he's a liar, and there's no no way he's making knives in that little storefront of his, especially if he's making so many knives that he needs dealers to sell these knives. Okay, this time I'm really done. <laughs>